back into the far circle where Kemmel will play it for Milwaukee. They give it away. Griffin's Lesperance with it. Now to Didier. He walks right in with a shot. Ascara receiving the rebound. They score! And the Griffins draw first blood at 5.30 into the opening period as the goaltender Ascara had no idea where that rebound or the shot by Didier was. And Cross Hannes knew where it was, and he pounced on it and popped it home, and the Griffins have the advantage here in the opening period. Now Bergren far side, turning from the point, a long shot, and that one missed the goal. Now it came free in front. Here's Carter Mazur taking a look at it. Shot, he scores! Carter Mazur into the upper left-hand corner. Ascara never saw it, and the Griffins lead the Admirals 2-0. That goal really begins with Jonathan Berger, and he's circling the ice with the puck. All eyes on him. He's just a puck magnet, and then the puck comes out to Carter Mazur, and he just puts it past the goaltender. Bob, as you said, the goalie never saw it. That's a big goal and a 2-0 lead. Move it to center where Booty got knocked down. Their bench looking for a call. Meanwhile, Griffin's Casper cuts in a shot. He scores! Marco Casper, it's a power play goal, and the Griffins now lead it three. For the Griffins last night, talking about for the for the Red Wings. Oh, here we go. And the Griffins have numbers again. Here's Shine, drop pass, score! Aston Reese, and it's four to nothing. Griffins with 5:29 to play in the second period. How about that? Aston Reese comes in. He's the third man on the play. He's the trailer. Takes a nice pass. It just blows it past the Milwaukee goaltender. Kicked free by Lesperance. The puck will be played, though, by the Admirals. Kevin Gravel, long up, pass, up, and up. another breakaway. Behind the defense, right in, a backhand, and they score. And it'll be Foodie to get the goal for Milwaukee. Boy, what a stretch pass that was. And it found its way all the way through, and Liam Foodie blocked it. Admiral's busting right back in again, but attempt to get around Belinder. That one denied. Milwaukee up with the puck and a sharp angle. It's Shot, they score again. And just like that, uh -huh. it's a 4-2 hockey game with still 326 to go. Yeah, don't count this Milwaukee team out. It's going to be Milwaukee zone getting to it first. Zach Aston Reese turning with a shot right on. And a glove save made there by Ascara. Oh, play it. Now across, they walk in with a shot. That's blocked by Carter Mazur. Griffin's under duress right now. Pass in front of the redirect right on. Left pad save made by Kosa Milwaukee with it again, a drive, and that got blocked. Now it's loose, near side, picked up by Kemmel. Kemmel runs into traffic, taken down, penalty coming up. Meanwhile, Milwaukee put the puck in front of the net, and Kosa comes up with a big save. Went ahead to Lesperance, it's two on one. Lesperance in front to Shine, walks in with a backhand, and a great wow. save by Askarov. Oh, he went forehand, backhand, and he rifles it right back in. Being free into the circle, and a shot there by Soderblom. Whistling wide. Lesperance coming up with a puck behind for Matt Luff. Luff now into the circle with a pass, Vero. Backing up, plays it back down the far boards, Luff, right on net, the rebound, save, the, oh. another attempt at a save there by Iskarov. And now Milwaukee. Great things that have happened here at Van Andel Arena. Add this to the list. The Griffins have just ended the second longest winning streak in American Hockey League history. The Milwaukee Admirals, 19 in a row, ends here tonight in downtown Grand Rapids. 4-2, Grand Rapids wins it. And you know, the story of this game, Bob, is not the four goals that the Griffins scored. It's the five penalties they killed off. Incredible. Five power play chances.